my partner, Stevie Rice, lives here and has done a couple of plays actually here at RTP. So I come and visit him. I've been hoping to work in the Richmond theater community because it's a fantastic group of actors. Just the talent is astounding. Hey, what are you writing? That you're a freak? Come on, I'm serious. So am I. Cody Randall is a freak. It's the story of an ex-alcoholic who has become a nun. She was homeless and on the street for about three years. So she's given this 19-year-old, drug-addicted, homosexual prostitute. And she says, I'm not prepared for this, and we don't take people like this. And this priest insists that she take this particular client. Our benefactors won't go for it. Our board of directors, what are they going to say when they find out we've taken in a homosexual, drug-dealing prostitute? The same thing Christ would do, I imagine. Hate the sin, love the sinner, send more money. Well, I think there's quite a bit of levity, and certainly we are trying to find all of those moments of humor. Her cussing is just great, but it's also very provocative, and it's part of the Acts of Faith Festival, which is one of the reasons for doing a play that makes the audience think a little bit more than perhaps a French farce. I've got to report this. Uncle Mike! You made a mistake. He won't do it again. Are you listening to yourself? Can't we just forget about this? Just wake the sleep. If this were any other patient, Cody's not any other patient. He is the same addict with the same behavior, and you need to get the fuck out of his way. Uncle Mike, you're not believing this shit, are you? I've been uh, proposing some projects to some of the other producers around and have a particular play that I would really love to do here. It's by Bill C. Davis, who wrote Mass Appeal, and he's written a wonderful, wonderful new play. Well, I'm just so interested in this Acts of Faith Festival, and I just think it's fascinating that this is addressed on a citywide basis and that so many interesting projects get done in, in relation to that.